And the skills that I think Humber students should have um, and, and characteristics before they, they launch their own careers are pretty simple. You have to know how to manage your time. It's time management. You have to have your social skills because if, you if you're going to interviews, you're doing your client meetings and you network, people don't like boring people. I always say try and make your, everyone you talk to laugh because that's what relaxes you. This is a good relationship builder. Uh, business etiquette, I can't emphasize enough, I can't stress enough, you have to know how to behave uh, properly, you have to know what to wear, you have to know what makeup you should do, you have to know how to talk to people and also use the, use the terminology. I was interviewing one girl and she said, she was talking about something and she said, rich people, I said, yeah, high income demographic, I get it. Um, writing skills, your emails, your cover letters, your, re your resumes, usually this is the first impression about you and this is how you can show people you're intelligent, you're talented, uh, you have these experiences, you can help the company, you can, you can benefit the company. Uh, willingness to learn and work hard. <laughs> this is what I had to have because everywhere you go, the company works in a little bit different way and you have to learn how to do it this way um, and then if you show your employer that you're willing to work, you're interested, it's just only going to benefit you. And of course, along with that comes hard work. Organizational skills. This is probably one of the most, most important skills for myself. If I'm not organized, I feel uncomfortable. And especially when it comes to the job search, I'm going to talk about it later today too. Organizational skills is what keeps me comfortable and confident. And keep yourself up to date. This is what I tell people all the time when someone asks for my advice or how did you find a job? What do I have to do right now? Just build a habit. Every day you wake up, first 30 minutes spent online, on, on LinkedIn, uh, go to like find a website that shows you the latest news in the industry you want to work in. And then just learn about this industry, learn what's changing. You can start just simply with the marketing. Just uh, read to what's going on with social media, what people are saying about uh, digital marketing, and not just only di di sorry, digital, also about content. My, um, um, my coworker is hosting a Content Talks event, and uh, you can go there and network with other people, and they will tell you the same thing. Just find something that, that keeps you up to date when you network, this is what you can bring up and actually talk about that, not just can you please find me a job and can you look at my resume. No, let's talk about the latest Facebook change. What do you think about that? I read an article that says whatever, whatever. Marketing letters. So this is the advice that I received from um, a Humber professor uh, that helped me with, uh, with some kids. Don't wait until people post a job posting. Email them first. Uh, it's going to look like a cover, le cover letter, but instead of asking for a job, you're just telling, this is who, you, this is who I am, this is what I'm doing, these are my skills. Uh, I'm going to appreciate if we can meet one day for coffee or if I, come, if I can come to your office for like 20 minutes and talk about my future possibilities or how I can help you. And they will say yes, most of them. You have no idea how many interviews I received from emailing people first. And they, was, and they were telling me, you know what, we were actually looking for a digital marketing specialist and then your email um, came along and we just really want to meet you. Let's talk about maybe you can, like how you can fit or let's just not call it an interview, just come and we can talk. And then they, they referred me to other people. So I just want to say thank you, Humber. And for me, Humber was not just school. Uh, for me, Humber was a family. Humber was a home for me because I was just spending time after second semester. I was at Humber all the time. I was studying and they do a very great job in supporting people even after they graduate. I was still coming to the workshops and even before I did tons of workshops and I, I think I've been to five different workshops about the LinkedIn profile, the resumes, how to find a job. They help you with the permits. Just use it while you can. And um, 
It's for free. 